What's up everybody, welcome back. If you watched the video that I posted last week, then you know that I unfortunately had my drone stolen while I was up camping in an igloo with some buddies. So we're snowshoeing up a mountain, we're gonna go camping. Got Dakota back there. <laughs> Dog up front. I'll link that video here if you wanna see the full story, but really the only piece of information that relates to this video is that in addition to stealing my drone, they also stole my car keys. On that set of keys, I also had the only key to my camper shell. So when they stole the keys, they also stole my ability to lock and unlock my camper shell, which I kind of like, especially if I'm storing things in there. So I got the T-handles that can replace the current T-handles out there, which will basically allow me to lock and unlock my truck shell again. All I need to do is install them. And the installation process is super easy, so let's get started. So this is how easy this whole installation process is gonna be. All you have to worry about are two bolts and four screws. Let me show you. So up here along the top you have two areas where those T-handles are going to mount into place and on each one you have two screws and one bolt. That's a 14 millimeter bolt there in the center. Pretty easy to get off. If there's a little bit of rust just throw some WD-40 on and it should come off pretty easily. The entire process of switching your T-handles should literally only take you like five minutes. It's a super super easy process. So once that 14 millimeter bolt is off you can just take a drill or just a Phillips head screwdriver and you'll back those screws out. The locking piece right here comes off after the bolt comes off. And then once you have those two screws out, the plastic piece on the back end is gonna come off. And that's the T-handle. So, completely open now, ready to put the new one in. Let's do the second one. Same process as before. Take the bolt off first. Once that bolt's off, the lock is gonna come down. Then you'll take the screws out. Plastic piece slides off, and the T-handle comes out. The only other thing that's gonna be a little bit tricky in installing the new ones is figuring out which one goes on which side, and it's really not that hard. Basically, the way that it works is the one that goes on the right side turns counterclockwise, and that's unlocked, and then when it's horizontal, it's locked. So once you figure out which one goes on each side, just install it the same way you took it out. So you'll take your T-handle, throw it in, make sure it's in the unlocked position because this is open right now, and then you'll get your screws, as well as the plastic piece that's gonna go on this back end. Slide the plastic piece up, throw the screws in. Then you'll take your lock, slide that over the top, point it up, because again, we're open right now, so it's unlocked. Take that 14 millimeter bolt, thread that on with your hand first, grab your socket, Tighten that up. You don't want to do it too tight because otherwise it's going to have a hard time locking. So you just kind of do it by feel. Once it feels like it's snug on there and it's not too difficult to lock it, that's good. Now that I have the new T-handles installed, I'm just going to shut everything up, make sure it fits and works smoothly. So on this left side, shuts just like I want it to. It's nice and secure, snug. On the right side, same thing. And Seems like everything's good to go. So one of the things that I do like about these replacement T-handles is the number of spare keys that it comes with. Each one of the T-handles comes with two keys. So because I bought two and they came in a pair, I have four spare keys. And each one of these four keys works for both handles. So really I have four keys for the camper shell, which is super nice, just in case I lose one. Or I guess if another one got stolen, hopefully that doesn't happen and I don't get any more keys stolen, um, or drones for that matter. But if I do lose them, I have extras. I'll make sure that I link these T handles down in the video description below. I just found them on Amazon. They were super cheap, only about 20 bucks. Um, but that way, if you do need to replace yours, whether it's because your keys got stolen or you just lost them or they're worn out and you need, you feel the need to replace them, I'll put them in a link in the video description down below. Thanks a ton for watching, guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you around.